By now, you already know I went to Texas to deliver bagels to my sister. Surprise! You also know I had tacos. A lot of tacos. But there's one thing that's more famous than tacos in Texas. Barbecue. I tried visiting non-tourist trap barbecue spots told to visit from Redditors. My sister and I visited three spots. I mean, we can only eat so much Texas portion barbecue in three days. First stop, Terry Black's Barbecue. I heard this place was found by twin brothers who come from a family with a barbecue history. I also heard these smokers are custom built to their exact specification, making these truly one of a kind barbecue machines. My sister and I tried visiting earlier to beat the line and we noticed there was a line forming already at around 11am. We got their mac and cheese, cream corn, and their coleslaw at sides. Then soon after, it was our turn for glory. Hi guys, welcome. How are you today? Hello, good. How are you? Can you be a friend today? Can I get warm? Yeah. Can I try some brisket, guys? Yes, please. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the moist. That's the juicy one. Uh, yeah. And then, can I also get a pork rib? So pork rib, pork rib, pork rib. You want some? Yeah. Thank you. We got a beef rib, jalapeno cheddar sausage, pork rib, and their famous brisket. Feast your eyes on absolute perfection. To be honest, this was my second time visiting. The first time, the beef ribs were a little bit over seasoned, but today, oh, it was so good. This is spicy sauce, sweet sauce, original sauce. So small. I know, and that's like four bucks. But it's so good. Oh my god, the pulse was amazing. Good. The ribs are on the sweeter side. Eat this last. This in my mouth was just like. Look at the size of it. It's bigger than your head. <laughs> <laughs> it is huge. The pork is like cheese inside. <laughs> it's so good. It's not like I thought it was gonna be salty, but it's not salty. It's so savory. Mm. Mm. Why is everything so good? Oh wait, we should try the sauce. This is the spicy sauce, and this is the sweet sauce, and this is the original barbecue sauce. I'm going to have to have the original first. Mm. It has like a barbecue sauce, but also has like notes of tomato. Huh? Yeah, it kind of tastes like tomato. I don't know. Maybe ketchup? It's like tomato. Maybe ketchup plus um, barbecue sauce? Spicy. I love spicy. If the spicy sauce was a lot more spicier, then I would have appreciated that. It's not spicy at all. It's not spicy at all. Oh my god. I can't get over how good everything is. It like purifies my soul. <laughs> my dopamine is going crazy right now. Terry Black Barbecue, definitely not a tourist trap. After an adventurous morning, we are on our way to our next barbecue spot. By the way, why is Texas so big? Lero and Lewis Barbecue was a food truck until they got so popular with the locals, they opened up their shop. They used these huge smokers to cook their meat with actual firewood. The first thing we noticed when we entered the restaurant was their friendly. Uh, beef cheeks for a special today. Right. Beef cheeks for a special and then the chef also has the beef sausage that are not on there, okay? Okay. We can get you started right here with everything you need, okay? Hey, you enjoy. Hello. Hello. Welcome. I got their two meat, two sides platter with pulled whole hog, sliced beef, kale Caesar salad, and pork hash with rice. My sister had the sliced beef, beef cheeks, chili frito pie, and salad. Try them. Tastes good. It's like Fritos and chili. It's a lot better than you You gotta eat the chips. Mmm. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, we also got the onion ring that we totally forgot about, and so they brought it out for us. Mmm, so crispy. <laughs> you know what I love about this place? What? 
Their sauces are amazing. The barbecue is pretty good, but what makes it amazing is the sauce. And it's not just the flavor, it's, it's just like the texture as well. It has like, you can feel all the grains and... Although the sauces were amazing, we thought the barbecue itself was not on the same amazing level. What my sister and I didn't like was the price of the drinks. We paid over $10 for a can of Dr. Pepper and a glass bottle of Coke. We know inflation is a thing, but... I won't come here again. My final barbecue spot was supposed to be La Barbecue, but I had a flight in a few hours. And look at this line. My goodness. But I couldn't lose hope. I waited for a bit and decided to ask them if I had a shot. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, next time you're in town, you have to place a pre order, you just skip the head, and the uh -huh. line, we close it off like a day. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, that was the answer. So frustrating. Ah. I was about to give up on my third barbecue experience in Texas when suddenly I saw Salt Lake barbecue in the airport itself. Hi. Can I get a two meat platter with uh, brisket and cold pork? I read that Salt Lake barbecue was found by a man who originally sold produce, but when his family reunion barbecue got famous, he decided to start doing it for paying customers. And now, after over 50 years, his son is continuing his barbecue legacy. I read a few comments saying that Salt Lake Barbecue was somewhat tourist trappy, but hey, there must be a reason why tourists adored the food here, right? That looks very cool. <laughs> that does look very good. <laughs> but all in all, I was still very happy to enjoy real Texan barbecue until my very departure. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.